Okay, well, there you have it, folks. That's the one that I'm going to move. Uh, it was a swarm. I didn't have any place to put it, so I just put it up here. And see, it's right there in front of my disc plow. Uh, well, some people call that a bushing bog, but uh, I call it a disc plow. I've got a disc on it. So I'm going to move it, and uh, I have secured it with a strap clamp, a uh, strap, and I have got rid of this loose. One time I was moving a hive like that, and I stepped on that, and oh, it was horrible after that. So we're just going to move it. It's 32 degrees out here. Those bees will not, will not break cluster. So I'm not worried about anything other than just loading it and moving it. Putting it in my carry-all and moving it. So we'll get her all loaded up here and see what happens. We have moved it to the tractor. Like I said, those bees did not move, if they're still alive. I mean, they were uh, kind of uh, iffy earlier, but they were still alive last time I checked on them. Okay, so that gets these bees out in the sun. And uh, any day then that the hive warms up, they can get out, do some cleansing flights. And, uh, you know, uh, my bees have been bringing in pollen already. I don't know where to get it. But, so that'll give them an opportunity to get out and get some resources in. So we moved it from there to there. And I'm going to put that board in front of it. Of course, I'm gonna have to put some blocks under it to raise it up. That way the bees will realize something is different and they'll reorient themselves to a new location. There you have it, folks. Okay, here we go. Here's the hive I moved yesterday. Moved it from up there in the shade. This is the most activity I've seen at this hive in several weeks. It's 52 degrees. This morning it was 19 here at the house. I'm sorry, here on the farm. So these old girls have gotten out. Uh, they're stretching their wings. They're doing cleansing flights because they don't relieve themselves inside the hive. So uh, looks like this was a success. And then uh, go over here to this one. Now this is the ballpark swarm. And uh, looks like it's doing pretty darn good for rocking it. Yes, sir. You notice the dead bees. They've been uh, cleaning out. There went one with pollen in. Yep, there's another one with pollen on its legs. Old Dave Barnyard Bees had a video about where bees come up with pollen in the winter time or in the spring I guess I need to watch that didn't mean to just ain't done it oh, one of them just laying it on me one of them just stung me son of a gun right up here on the forehead okay somewhere right in there let me tell you that's a tender area folks 
tender area. So if you have a question, will bees sting you when it's 52 degrees outside? Heck yeah. Uh, there is a massive amount of activity at that hive with the bees funneling into a very small opening. So um, that will cause bees to be a little bit more agitated. And uh, I was actually in their flight path as well, trying to get a picture of, uh, or getting video of uh, bees hauling pollen. So you'll hear every beekeeper say this, I got stung but it's my own fault. One time, got me one time. I got on the bicycle and I got the heck out of Dodge. So, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty confident. That's a pretty strong hive. And even this one back over here, let's see, that right there that I just moved yesterday, it's, it's showing uh, good strength numbers well. Now they're actually up there swirling around where the beehive used to be. Uh, I hope that they uh, reorient themselves down here to the regular hive, the original hive. I, I think they will, but if they don't, hey, dumb bees, you know. So anyhow, uh, that's life here on the bee yard today. Like I said, it's a blistering 52 degrees. I'm gonna plant some tomato plants in a little bit. <laughs> you bank family homestead, like and subscribe. Oh, look who come to see me. Uh, What's your name again? Do you have a name? What is your name? You want to do a goat selfie? There you go. It's, it's Abby. No kisses. Thank you.